Hello and welcome to my coding course Build Tic-Tac-Toe Game by React.js. In this course, you will learn the essential tools and skills to design, develop, and deploy a React application from scratch. My name is Basir and I'll be your instructor in this course. I have 17 years of programming experience in international companies like RI Vision in Montreal, and now I'm a coding instructor on Udemy with 23k students. I designed this course for anyone seeking to learn React basics and reduce their hook. By the end of this course, you'll be able to learn basic concepts like components, state, props, list, and events, put basic concepts into action by building a tic-tac-toe game, and you will learn how to deploy this game on the internet. You need to open the code editor along with me and start coding throughout this course. I teach you using VS Code and its extensions to code like professional developers, incorporating React concepts into components and hooks in a tic-tac-toe game, and publishing your work on the internet using GitHub pages. This course is for all level developers who want to be a junior developer and find a job in more than 22 job opportunity around the world. Knowing React and Reducer hook is necessary for this course and also having a passion of coding is a must. Feel free to take a look at the course preview and enroll if it's along with your ambitions. Here is the plan to create tic-tac-toe application. Open your VS Code and from terminal menu, click new terminal, go to your desktop folder and run npx create-react-app and set the app name to tic tac to and press enter. By running this command, a new React application named tic tac to will be created in your desktop folder. That's it. Let's go to the tic tac to folder and enter code and put a dot. By running this command, a new VS Code window will open. Click on Yes, I trust and you will have tic-tac-toe folder in the left sidebar. To run the application from terminal menu, click new terminal and run npm start and run npm start. That's it. We have our React application running and we are going to convert this sample application to tic-tac-toe game. For the next step, open readme file and here is the plan for this project. First of all, we are going to create game UI. To do that, create components first, right click on SRC, new folder, and enter components as a folder name. Inside that, we are going to create three components. The first one, create it, new file, set file name to game.js. It's the main container component. To create a sample component, just type RFC to create React functional component code snippet and press tab to create it. If you don't have this recommendation, you just need to go to extensions and in the search bar, type React, select this one, ES7 React Redux QL React Native Code Snippet and click on install button because I have already installed it, I have uninstall button. After installing, by typing RFC, you will have a recommendation and by clicking on it or pressing tab, it creates a code snippet for a React functional component for you like this. This is the first component. By pressing save button, it just format your code like this. To format your code, also you need to install ESLint extensions like this. Select this one and click on install button to auto format your code. Also, you need to have prettier to type prettier in the extension and select this one 
and by clicking on install button you will have Predier 2. By having Predier ESLint and ES7 React Code Snippet you have all necessary extensions to code in this project. Good, let's go and create second component, new file, it's the board. Board component is the child of game component. And inside board component, type RFC, press tab to create board component, and save it. Then the last component is a square component, square.js. Type RFC, press tab to create a square component too. What we need to do in this course is to code in these components. I'm going to use game component in the app.js because app.js is the main entry point of our application. Inside that, get rid of dev and use game and put slash closing angle bracket. We need to import it, get rid of all imports here. We don't need them. Import game from what is the address? Enter dot slash component slash game and save it. Great. This is the app.js component. The first part of this lesson is about creating UI for the game. Go to game.js and inside this dev, create another dev and inside that, use board component like this. This is the first dev. I'm going to create another dev next to this one, another dev, and set the class name of this dev to game info. This one class name is game board. Let's import board, press control space, and you will have this recommendation. By clicking on it, automatically board component will be imported here. In the game section, we have two dev. The first one is a status and second one is moves. Let's work on a status and moves. I'm going to define a const set a status to let's make it a sample a static text. We will change it to dynamic in next section. And the static text is next player is X. Also for moves, I'm going to return an ally and inside ally return a button and the button caption is start the game. For the moves here, change dev to ul because we are going to use li in the moves so the wrapper component should be ul. Good, save it to format your code and let's check the result. Uh -huh. Next player is x, start the game and we are going to convert this to this. Next player is x and start the game. Let's create buttons like this buttons. I'm going to define a squares const a squares equal to a squares is an array of nine elements and I'm going to fill elements with null value. That's it. And we need to pass a squares to board component like this. That's the way to pass data to a child component using props. Let's go to the board component, press keep control and click on board. And inside that, we are going to implement buttons or squares. What I'm going to return here is a dev and set class name to board. Inside that, create a dev. And inside this dev, use a square. Set value of a square to, to props dot squares zero. So we need to pass props as a parameter to the board component. And the second property for a square is on click. 
For unclick, I am going to run this arrow function and inside the body of this arrow function call props.unclick and pass zero as an index of this square to this function and close the square component. Save it to format your code and import a square from src slash component. To do that, type import a square from a square. Duplicate this for two times and change the index to one and this one to two. Also, we need to duplicate this div two times to create three columns, one, two. So here is the first row. This one is second row. Change index to three, four, five. And for the last row, change index to six, seven, and eight. Nice. That's it. We created nine instance of a square component. Let's go to a square component. And inside that, what we need to return is a button. Get rid of div. Create a button. And inside that button, render props dot value and pass props as a parameter to this function. For unclick, we just call props dot unclick. When user click on it, the click event on the parent component will raise. Set class name to btn. That's it about the UI part for game, board, and a square. Open index.css, get rid of all code here, and we are going to add style to change this ugly style to this one. Let's go for it. First of all, set box sizing to border box. It's for better managing margin, border, and padding for elements. For body, set width to 100%, set height to 100, viewport height. We're gonna make board center aligned vertically and horizontally. So we need to set display to flex, justify content to center, and align items to center to make elements centered vertically and horizontally. Horizontally by justify content and vertically by align items. Set background color to this color, 0E, 80, B0. Here is the result. We are going to get close to this one. The next one is for the BTN. For the button, set background color to white, set color to E5, DC15, font family to Montserrat. If it does not exist, sans serif, text transform to uppercase, margin, set margin to 15 pixel, padding to 5 pixel, and create border 2 pixel solid and use this color E5 DC 15. Set border radius to 5 pixel and box shadow. We are going to create a shadow 0, 12 pixel and set color to yellow this code and another shadow 0, 18 pixel and use RGB alpha to create transparent black. Set font size to a big font size, 60 pixel. Set width to 90 pixel and height to 80 pixel. Cursor to pointer and position to relative. Also make top to zero. We are using these two styles to create animation when user hover or active a button. Save it, and here is the result. Very similar to this one, but there is no hover effect. 
to implement hover effect, btn hover is gonna be set background color to e5 dc15. It's e5. Set color to 0e at b0. Set top 4 pixel and create a border shadow like this but change 12 pixel to 8 pixel and 18 pixel to 14 pixel. Do the same for btn colon active. Set top to 8 pixel and copy this one, paste it here, change it to 4 and 10 pixel. Let's test it. Yeah, here the button style is very similar to the final one. But if you click on it and release it, you will get this error message. Unclick is not defined. We will implement it later. Refresh to get rid of this error. Next step is going to be moving next player to the right side, like this one. Let's go for it. Define game class and set display to flex. and set flex wrap to wrap for game info set margin to 15 pixel and make color to white also for board direct child of board i mean direct dev for board set display to flex 2 it's all the classes that we need for this project it's about 50 lines of code and here is the result oops why it's not in the right side let's go to game and set the parent class here to game save it yes can you see this they are very similar to each other that's it about the first step create game UI and the next step is gonna be working on the logic to add logic we are going to use a reducer in this application to manage a state of game we are going to use reducer if reducer is new for you you need to have my another course which is react the complete guide in that course, I teach you how to use Reducer and how Reducer works in React application. Here, we are going to use Reducer, not explaining how Reducer works. Let's define it. Const state and dispatch equal to use Reducer. Select this one to auto import it from React and use Reducer accept to parameter a reducer function and default props default state the first state is x is next is a boolean value that indicates the next player and by default we are going to make x as a first player in this game it's x o game 2 the and x is the first player and second one is history we are going to record the history of action in the game it's an array and the first element of this array is an squares and this square is an array of nine elements and all of them are null so history is arrays of arrays save it and from state we can get x is next and history from state let's define reducer here it should be out of the function define reducer it accepts state as a first parameter and action as a second parameter and inside this function we define a switch case for action dot type we have two action here the first action is move case move what do we need to do if a move happens 
we need to return a new state and this new state keep previous values inside state but change history to this previous history i mean history inside the state here and concatenate it concat it with the new one the new one is an object that has squares as the element and the value of this squares is coming from action.payload.squares save it to format your code and second change in the state is for x is next for sure it should be the next player if it's x it should be o and if it's o it should be x so i'm using this one state dot x is next logical not of x is next save it and send default case to return current state that's it about the reducer for move we need to have another action which is jump we will go for it later nice the next step the next step is gonna be handling click after the state let's define handle click function it accept i as an index of a square inside this i'm going to get last item in the history which is current squares const current equal to history from history get the last element history dot length minus one and then create a copy from squares inside current squares equal to current dot squares dot slice we are getting a copy of squares in a new variable named squares define winner by getting the result of this function calculate winner we're gonna pass squares to calculate a winner i'm not gonna implement it just at the end of this component define it like this it accept squares and what i'm gonna return is null we will work on it later to calculate winners based on the state of squares after this is to check winner if winner exists or a square at index i has a value it means that we previously clicked and occupied this square we need to return we shouldn't continue because there is no way to continue when winner is obvious or the square is occupied after that if none of them is true we need to continue gain what we need to do is to fill a square at index i with x or o how we can find it by checking x is next if it's true put x in this square otherwise put o in this square at the end we need to dispatch move action set type to move and set payload to square inside curly bracket why do i pass it into curly bracket because in the move action here i'm accessing to the square using this way action dot payload dot squares so it should be inside curly bracket to address a square correctly here is the handle click after handle click function i need to get current again let's copy this code to get current square and from current score i'm going to calculate winner again copy this one and paste it here but it should be current dot square and after calculating winner i need the winner here if winner exists if winner is equal to d it means that it's a draw render draw in the screen otherwise i'm gonna say winner is and put a plus winner otherwise 
next player is it's coming from x is next if it's true is x otherwise is o save your code to format the status variable the next step is gonna be move for move i'm using a static text let's remove it and make it real from history use map function the first parameter is a step is element inside history and second parameter is move is the index of this array let's wrap it inside round bracket like this and inside that i'm going to define this function define description equal to check move if move is zero i need to render start the game otherwise i need to say go to and number and plus it with move otherwise enter start the game and at the end what i need to return is an li inside li render a button and the button is description it's either start the game or go to step one two three for the li set key to get rid of error and for the button set unclick to implement jump to move we need to implement jump to let's define it before handle click const jump to jump to accept step and what i need to do in the jump to is to just dispatch this action jump and what is the payload payload is step save it and there is no error here let's implement jump to in the reducer case jump what do i need to return is this keep previous state for x is next it should be calculated from step f action dot payload dot step the reminder by two is equal to zero it's x otherwise it's o so it returns true or false based on it and second parameter is history state dot history i need to remove previous items in the history using state dot history dot slice from zero to the step plus one action dot payload dot step plus one i just removing previous history since the step that user clicked that's it about the jump and let's go to the return part of this component here and let's go to the return part of the component here and for board i'm going to pass on click it accepts i as a parameter and implement handle click i save it and that's it about game let's get rid of squares here which is a static value and use squares from current and current is coming from here history and history is coming from the state save it and let's test it yeah it works but it cannot calculate the winner let's calculate the winner in the game component at the very end we have to find calculate winner but it return null let's get rid of it and define winner lines winner lines indicate the winner way if a player occupy 0 1 and 2 it's a winner let's wrap it inside another array and define others like 3 4 5 6 7 8 0 3 6 1 4 7 2 5 8 0 4 8 inside this and the last one 
is 246. Save it. Here is the winner lines. And let's define is draw equal to true. Inside a for loop, let i equal to 0. As long as i less than winner lines dot length i plus plus get a b and c as a values from winner lines i and we are going to compare squares at index a if it does exist i mean it is clicked and squares a is equal to squares at index b and squares at index b equal to squares at index c what does it mean it means that we have a winner and what is the winner it's the value in this index it's x or o if a square at index a is null or let's duplicate that for b and c and a squares at index b is null or a squares at index c is null then there is no draw because we have room to continue the game is draw should be false save it at the end i'm going to check if there is a draw then return d otherwise return null and null means that there is no winner and there is no draw save it and let's check the result refresh the game let's try a winner path yes winner is x let's put a space between them scroll up put a space nice very similar to this one let's test the jump i'm going to go to step three of the game yeah it says the next player is o and we are in step three and we can go to previous steps like this that's it about this lesson let's review what we did we started by creating a game component and inside index.css we defined style for button and put squares next to each other in the game component we have defined a board and we implemented unclick and squares as a property for it also we have defined calculate winner to define winner lines and compare the current state of the game with winner lines if there is a winner line we return the winner otherwise we check for draw and if it's a draw we return d in the code we check that d and if it's a draw we set the status of application to draw also we render moves to make it possible for user to switch between history of game in the game board we have a game info that shows the status the winner and also list of moves for user in the board component we created three rows and in each row we created three squares like this and in the square component we have this also we can change the state of class name conditionally if we have a winner the cursor type shouldn't be pointer and the button should be like disabled let's do that open index.css and when a button has disabled class set cursor to default and also the button that is disabled the hover state should be like the regular one the btn set top to zero background color color and border shadow to this one let's go to a square and make it conditionally i mean wrap it inside a square bracket and if props that value exists it means that it should be like disabled there is no way to click on it again otherwise use btn class let's try again you know when i click on a button there is no way to click on it again but i can click on others also if we find a winner before 
occupying the all squares, other empty squares should be disabled too because there is no way to continue the game. Let's implement that in the board component here. If we have a winner, then game should be disabled. Otherwise, the class is game. Save it and go to index.css for disabled button. I mean the button inside disabled parent class cursor should be default. And also for button hover inside parent disabled class, it should be like the regular button. Save it. When we have a winner, there is no way to click on other buttons. Good, we successfully implemented this game. I hope that you have learned React component, creating functional component, creating reducer, decomposing component, building list of elements using map function, calculating the logic of winner using JavaScript, and a lot more. You can improve this game. You can save the status in the local storage. You can make it multiplayer by using Socket.io. And there are many rooms to improve this game. Create your own game and share it with me. In this lesson, I am going to deploy our application on GitHub pages to share our work on the internet with others. Go to github.com and, and log into your account. And then here, click on new repository. Enter a name for your repository. I'm going to set the name of it to React Tic Tac Toe and press enter. After that, we have this help here. Copy this line and go to your code, open terminal, click on plus icon, and then paste it here. By creating React app, automatically a Git repository will be created and you can connect it to GitHub by running this line of code. Press enter. Next step is gonna be running this, create a branch named main. And the next step is gonna be pushing your code on GitHub. It takes a while to upload your files to the GitHub. And if you refresh your page here, you will see your code on GitHub too. The next step is gonna be creating a GitHub page. I'm going to use this guide. First of all, we need to install GH pages. npm install GH pages in the terminal and run it. After installing this, if you go to the package.json, at this point, you will have GH pages in your dependency section. Next step, we need to add pre-deploy, copy this, and paste it in the script section. And add deploy, and paste it after pre-deploy. Save your file and it's time to modify the package.json. Copy this and paste it right after the name. Change the name to your name, your GitHub name, and this one to the name of your project. It's React Tic Tac Toe. Tic Tac Toe. And save it. We are ready here. Open terminal and run npm run deploy and press enter by running npm run deploy this command will run gh pages dash d build and what we expect is to have our application on this link i mean here wait for the result it takes a while to deploy your application to github pages nice it's published keep control and click on this link it says 404 because it takes a while. Test it in next hour and you will have your React Tic Tac Toe running in this address, like this one. After a second, I have it running and it works. That's it. We successfully implemented our application on the internet and it is mobile friendly too. I mean, you can play it on the mobile too. Just enter this address in your phone and you can play 
this game start the game and start playing this game in your phone too that's it about this lesson until next lessons bye bye